additional powerful tips that will help you master your public speaking experience. That actually reminds me of a funny story I believe I read in Dr. John Maxwell's book of a preacher who was graduating from seminary and he was excited looking forward to the first station that he was going to be posted. But during their graduation ceremony, they invited a renowned preacher in the country. And when that preacher came, he introduced his sermon with a joke that went something like, the best days of my life were spent in the hands of a woman who was not my wife. And then he pauses and everyone is like, what is this preacher who is married and is supposed to be faithful saying that the best days of his life were spent in the hands of a woman who was not his wife? And then he breaks the silence and says, that was my mother. And everyone burst into laughter because somehow for a moment, there are very few people could have thought that when he said woman, he was talking about his mom. And so this young preacher laughs so hard and so he copies the joke and plans to use it on the first church he'll be posted to go and minister. And when he's posted to his first church, on the first day he comes to minister and then he decides to start with that joke so he can make a good impression. But there is one problem, he hasn't rehearsed the joke. So he climbs the stage and then he says, the best days of my life were spent in the hands of a woman who was not my wife. And then he pauses. And then he pauses. Then he's trying to think the other part of the joke is not coming. And then everyone is so like, what is this man saying? How can he say such a thing? And this is the new pastor that I've sent to us. And then he breaks the silence and says, and I still can't remember who she was. And that is just amazing. Like it's, that's the effect of copying a joke or humor that you don't really master. A quick recap, in our last video, we established that the fear of public speaking is natural and shared by generally every human because by default, it's our instinct of survival, given that it's something very new and something very strange. Normally, we are used to having a conversation with one, two, three, four people and there are really not that many eyes looking at us at once and really there are often casual conversations where there are really no expectations. But when we get it into a formal setting, our brains begin to heat up like, am I going to meet up with the expectations that these people have about me? And so we establish that in our last video. Therefore, the fear and the panicking and all the adrenaline being secreted in our system and the sweat is simply a message of our body telling us this is danger and we need to run for our survival. In this video, I will share with you two more tips and they have to do with mastering your emotion. Remember the fear in our title overcoming fear of public speaking the fear there is an emotion so how do you master your emotion of fear you'll be surprised to know that many great speakers even after having hundreds of speaking opportunities and sessions or thousands in their lifetime still stand before a speaking opportunity and there is a tiny little fear in their heart Remember, it's an emotion and it's an instinct for survival, so you may never quite get rid of it. But then you can master it and you can make it work for your own good. And so the number one tip I will share with you to master that fear of public speaking is to use humor. Think about it. The great speakers you know and admire somehow have a very good sense of humor. Well, you may say you don't really have a good sense of humor or you're not really good at making jokes, but that's no problem. Humor is something that can be learned. You can go online and you find funny jokes, you find funny stories, you find humorous things that you can actually practice on how to say them such that the fun and the humor actually goes through perfectly. This is important to master it because if you don't master it, you can say the funniest joke and two things are likely to happen. One, it doesn't come out clear and everyone is just looking at you like, what 
are you doing? Or the second thing that could happen is that you could actually laugh at all the humor in the story or in the joke that there is nothing left for your audience to laugh. You know, you've met people like that who are trying to say a joke or something funny and they keep laughing in the process of saying it. The best you can do, you listening, is to smile with curiosity that you want to know more. But at the end of the day, if they laughed out everything, there is nothing left for you. We all can relate to having experienced something like that in life. So it's important that you master the humor in the joke, the humor in the story, so that you can communicate it accurately. The reason is because we know the laughter is a good way to release stress, both for yourself and for your audience. Oftentimes, an audience can actually be stressed up for a speaker when perhaps the thing the speaker is too young or maybe too old or just not what they were expecting as a speaker so throwing some humor in there at the beginning or in the course of your public speaking session is important to release that stress so that people can ease up and even more important for yourself too but if you don't think you're the one who is good with jokes and humor, then you can try a variance to this point, which is actually telling captivating stories. So it may not be humorous, but you could actually use a captivating story to achieve the same effect. A captivating story that, of course, will end pleasantly or not, depending on the subject matter you are addressing in your public speaking session. Oftentimes, this is great if it's a personal story. You know, audience's attention is always grabs when a speaker climbs up and then they start with something like, five years ago, I remember when I was in the university and everybody's like, oh, he or she is telling a story. Let's listen. Let's listen to the story. So it's also a good way to start if you get on stage and there is a lot of noise or your audience is a bit disorganized you know just that noise just that disorder in your mind may make you feel like these people don't even respect me and that just goes a long way to multiply your stress and your anxiety but a simple secret to get everyone's attention wrapped around you is to use a captivating story and a story that you tell in a very calm, quiet way that you probably even lower your voice a little. That way people have to really keep quiet so they can actually hear you. And just that feeling that you're in control of your audience will go a long way to help you master that emotion of fear. Point number one is simple. To counter the emotion of fear you need to bring in a different emotion and that's of joy of humor of laughter of happiness that dopamine secreted everyone feels good especially you and relaxes up so that the public speaking session can really be at its full potential because you can actually do it and as usual because you've watched to the end i'm just going to throw in this second point for you when it comes to mastering your fear of public speaking, dealing with the emotion of fear, an important component to understand and keep track of is your pacing. You need to master your pacing. Your pacing has to do with how fast or how slow you're speaking per time. You can't just climb the stage and you go bah, 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 fast and you just wrap up and you go down. Or you go to the stage and you're just going slow and slow and slow and everyone just gets bored and that just multiplies your anxiety. No, you need to master your pacing. You need to understand where you go fast, where you go slow, especially when you want to grab the audience's attention. You get to the point where you want to emphasize very important points that you pause and you go slowly and you even repeat yourself looking at the audience in a way that expresses confidence, expresses a mastery of whatsoever you are saying. And certainly what is communicated in people's minds is that he or she knows what they are talking about. So that's it. Throw in humor, throw in a story, change the emotional condition of the room, grab everyone's attention, and master your pacing. 
fake some good confidence in there and the more you do it the more the confidence itself will start manifesting all through your public speaking session so that's our time in this video i'd like to know what you think